Imagine a place where time stands still, where whispers of the past echo through millennia-old rock paintings. Welcome to the Lower Pecos River, a canvas of history nestled between Texas and Coahuila. Here, over 2,000 archaeological sites weave a tapestry of human civilization dating back 10,000 years, each one a testament to the enduring spirit of our ancestors. Among these sites, the White Shaman Cave stands out as an enigmatic sentinel, its walls adorned with ancient pictographs that spin tales of a bygone era. These pictographs, vivid portrayals of human figures, animals, and intricate symbols, serve as a window into the lives of the tribes who once called this region home. From the early explorations in the 1930s led by pioneers like Frank Setzler and James E. Pierce, to the ongoing research today, the Lower Pecos River continues to captivate and mystify. It's a place where history comes alive, and the mysteries of the past beckon us to explore. Etched into the stone walls, the ancient pictographs serve as a silent testament to the tribes who once thrived here. These rock paintings are a rich tapestry of human figures, animals, and intricate symbols. Each stroke, each curve, each line tells a story. They whisper tales of hunts, rituals, and survival. They hint at a world where man and beast coexisted, where the boundaries between the earthly and the spiritual were blurred. In the early days of exploration, archaeologists like Frank Setzler and James E. Pierce made these pictographs known to the world. Their efforts, though pioneering, were not without consequence. Hasty excavations and looting caused some damage to these precious sites. But the desire to understand our ancient predecessors was compelling. The pictographs, though silent, continue to narrate tales of the past, their messages waiting to be deciphered. In 1998, the torch of Lower Pecos's preservation was passed to Shumla, an archaeological research center dedicated to safeguarding this historical treasure. At the helm was Dr. Carolyn Boyd, a visionary who recognized the value of the pictographs not just as historical artifacts, but as the voice of an ancient civilization. Shumla, under her leadership, began a tireless pursuit of preservation and education. They cataloged thousands of paintings, each a fragment of a forgotten era, and embarked on a mission to share these narratives with the world. Dr. Boyd led the charge, her work illuminating the shadows that had long cloaked these ancient tales. Through her commitment, she brought the pictographs into the spotlight, ensuring they were no longer overlooked but rather celebrated for their cultural significance. Through Shumla's commitment, the legacy of Lower Pecos River endures, waiting to reveal its secrets to the world. At the heart of this archaeological marvel, the White Shaman Cave stands as an enigmatic testament, its pictograph narrating a shaman's journey to the land of spirits. This small rock shelter holds the key to understanding the religious beliefs of the ancient tribes of Lower Pecos River. The intricate pictographs painstakingly preserved over thousands of years whisper tales of death and rebirth, of a shaman's voyage into the spiritual realm. Enter Dr. Carolyn Boyd, whose meticulous research shattered previous assumptions about these paintings. Contrary to earlier beliefs, she revealed a profound connection among the depictions, suggesting a shared religious practice among the tribes. The paintings, she believes, present a cohesive ceremony or belief system tied to early shamanism, centered around the shaman's journey into the underworld. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the White Shaman Cave, we are reminded of the vastness of human history and the richness of cultures that have come before our own. The mysteries of the Lower Pecos River persist, enticing us to uncover the secrets etched in stone by those who came before us.